celebrate the success of a really hardworking uh, team of folks. We have about 150 employees right now. Uh, they're represented tonight. I think there's 50 or 60 here. There's a bunch out on the road. Uh, but it's really important to recognize what they've done. And so we had a good opportunity to show off the renovation, the new building, the new organization, uh, and celebrate an award that uh, they all were able to get. So uh, we're really here tonight to just celebrate the success of the family members. Uh, seeing as we have a lot of new folks and a lot of, of family and friends, which is really important, uh, we thought we would just touch on a couple of things to give you a little idea what Cash Depot and Revolution Air is really all about. Um, to date, we have about 10,000 ATM deployed nationwide, and those are owned and operated by Cash Depot. Uh, we own two groups in the transaction processing business, which is what does all the back-end computer stuff. Uh, Cash Depot and First ISO. First ISO is the wholesale group. Cash Depot is the retail group. And we're doing right now about 12 million transactions a month. Uh, to give you a little scope for what the team has accomplished. Uh, that 12 million transactions a month, again, to give you another number to kind of wrap your head around what the team's accomplished. This year, our ATMs will give out a little over $14 billion. So it's a pretty good chunk of dough. Uh, we also started Revolution Air, which is an all digital uh, air and vacuum business, and we've deployed about 2,500 units in the first year in the digital air business. We service all 50 states in America. We have equipment in every state, including Alaska and Hawaii. We also service uh, Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. So hopefully that gives you a little idea of what we're doing, uh, what's going on. Uh, where's Rocky? Oh, he's way back there. I just wanted to give a little kudos to Rocky. He has run this entire renovation project, including the over budget piece. <laughs> uh, and, and got everything up and done, so uh, I, it really turned out great. And, and it's a wonderful home for everybody. We were kind of scattered and jammed, and uh, so it was really important to give everybody a better place to come to work. So we kind of have a philosophy that says happy family members equal happy customers equal happy returns, and so that's pretty important. We also have the training center next door. Uh, there are right now across America about 70 employees who are the service technicians that are out taking care of this. We built the training center next door so that we can up this by about three or four a month and hopefully we'll get to 200 technicians shortly so that we can cover everything we do in the United States ourselves from a repair and maintenance standpoint and we want to do more and more of our own armored courier. It gives the customer a much better experience. So uh, that's just a touch on the company. And then I guess why we were really gathered today, this group of people has really worked hard to drive toward a customer concentric business. In years past, our business was transactional, meaning we analyzed everything we spent on how much it cost to do something. And then about five years ago, we turned it around and we said, we're going to deal with whatever it takes to take care of the customer and put that first, and then we'll analyze what it costs later. Because without happy customers, there's just no place to go. So anyway, one of the things that happened is we had been doing business with uh, Walmart for oh, seven or eight years, and we had built up the business to like 3,000 locations. Um, about a year ago, they decided, they had always kept some of their own units, so they decided they were going to roll out a new project, and they took the top 1,000 stores, bought their own equipment, set up their own management team, and, and they, they got deeper into the ATM business. Uh, they ran it for about six or seven months, and we were very fortunate that I got a call 
from their SVP and he said, you know, you were right and I'll let you say it one time. Can you be in Bentonville tomorrow? We went down there, they said, here's the keys. We're losing six and a half million dollars a year. Our equipment's up 52% of the time and we gotta do something, can you fix it? So this group got together, uh, came up with a plan, straightened that all out, we started. Anybody know when we started deployment there? Uh, May, somebody, 15th. May 15th, I should have known, Brian. Uh, and this is Brian Kimber, he's another guy that was so instrumental, he's the analyst on this account, they love him, he has driven the Walmart account, but anyway. Yes, Brian. <laughs> So we started the process in May, and uh, in 90 days, we completed a rollout of over a thousand locations, took over cash management, cash filling operations, rolled these things out, and took them from losing five million bucks to making a little over 3.8 million a year. And we accomplished 97, 98% uptime, so we took them from 52 to 98. Uh, so they were pretty happy. So anyway, we sit on a, one of their president's boards and we get to go down there once a year and meet with their directors and talk to them. And every year at the director's meeting, they give away two awards, uh, a vendor of the year and a supplier of the year award. And so uh, Brian and I were sitting there pretty unexpected and in the first uh, award, there were three members on that one uh, it was Axiom, Microsoft, and uh, who was the other one? Oh, I missed it. And oh, yeah, just three. And, cash <laughs> <laughs> and so they, they gave that award to Axiom because during the hurricane, Walmart gave $250 million to Puerto Rico, and Axiom did a rollout on a card based program to distribute the $250 million to the people in Puerto Rico when they needed it. Uh, but we thought that was pretty good to, to be in that company. So then when they did the second award, they said uh, the people for that one were McDonald's, MoneyGram, uh, and Synchronous, and Cash Depot. And lo and behold, we won it. So we were one of two vendors for Walmart. And I think one of the important statements that they made that, A, I knew it was us when they said it, but really hit home is, they said, Cash Depot is a company that loves our customers more than we do. And I said, wow, that's pretty cool. Now all the time I thought it was implementation and technology and rollout, and no, I mean, their people recognized it's all about their customers and taking care of them. Uh, so Al, why don't we share, where's the, you got the, where's, okay. I'll get, I'll get yeah, the big one. Get the big one. So anyway, there's a commemorative award, it's a copy of the trophy or whatever you call this thing for every one of the employees and we'll be sending them to those employees that don't because this award is really, you know, I say it all the time at Christmas parties and the events, uh, this award is really about you guys and what you do and, and the contribution you make. I'm one in 150 so it's not very important. Oh, you lost it already? Oh. <laughs> the trophy case it's is locked. locked in the trophy case, so you can find the keys. Uh, but anyway, so, you know, this is for the family members at Cash Depot. I think it's really an honor that a small company, uh, you know, under 200 people, uh, is out there duking it out with the likes of Microsoft, McDonald's, MoneyGram, uh, Axiom. You know, these are, these are big hitters that take care of these people. And it's pretty important that this group was able to get that recognition. Uh, you know, it's a small town. Uh, we don't have all that many, you know, of those big companies. Okay, here you go. And, and if you really want to know how important we are and how special we are, we even got the mayor to come and join us today, <laughs> Mayor Jim Smith. And hiding in the back is our county exec, Troy Streckenbach. So, you know, I thought that was pretty nice that they came out to spend a little time, help us recognize everybody. 
and celebrate our success. So I'm glad your families are here, your friends. I wish we had more grandbabies here. They're always really cool. Uh, but thank you all very much. Enjoy the rest of the evening. The other center is open. Feel free to go over there and just wander, look, meet everybody, and enjoy it. But thanks. We're glad you could come and share.